Hey y'all, you got Gord here. You're hurting hippie with another porch pondering. Today, again, not on the porch. It is minus 27 right now, minus 33 or 34 with the wind chill. My son just went out. Uh, we got about, whoa, 12 centimeters of snow overnight, and he had to go out and shovel that. And uh, thank goodness that wasn't me. But at noon today, only two hours from now, I've got to try to start the car and drive my son home to his mom's for the next couple of days. So that could be interesting. Who knows, you might see part of it. I did a walk yesterday in this cold and I did talk to y'all, but I didn't post it because uh, it just wasn't a good video. It was only two minutes long and it was freezing outside. So what's today about, you've already read it, uh, medical pot, medical cannabis is not about THC. I, we just had somebody come online saying our prices are too high. And then when we told them it was medical, they said, yeah, I know somebody's medical. I, all that low THC stuff. And it's, no, no. I mean, some of us, our stuff is 28%. Oh, yeah, I know someone on medical. The, their pot is only 7% THC. I wouldn't smoke that. This is one of our difficulties in bringing this product out to everybody is people with a lack of knowledge but think that their knowledge is their current knowledge is sufficient and superior we always have people to deal with like that so how do you deal with it you don't out them you don't bug them you try to teach them that THC is only one of the components of this medicine and there are many times that THC is not the important thing. It's seldom, if ever, the most important thing. When you are looking for medicine, you're looking at first, when you're looking at cannabis as a medicine, first and foremost is the strain type. First and foremost, not THC, but the strain type. Because depending on the strain, it attacks different things. It could be a high CBD strain or a high THC strain. It could be a high CBN or CBG strain. Uh, it could be an indica or a sativa, depending on what you need. You always start with that. What type of strain? Do you need nighttime or daytime or middle of the road? Then you've got the three types, sativa, hybrid, or indica. But then you dig in deeper. You don't dig in deeper. Okay, if I'm going for indica, I want high THC. No, no. Um, are you looking for pain relief? Are you looking for anxiety relief? Uh, what are you looking for for relief? This person who said, oh, I know somebody who has medical pot and it's only 7% THC. So he thereby assumes all medical pot is low THC. No, this one person probably needs high CBD and therefore is taking pot that's very low THC. It all depends on the ailment you're after. So once you find the strain type, indica, sativa, hybrid, you then move on to what, what do the components, the terpenes, the full entourage effect, the terpenes, the lipids, all that combined together, you look into Leafly and you see what are the effects, what are the medical properties that it's trying to attack, and what are the side effects. Then you compare those strains and find the one that most accurately suits you. THC content becomes the last thing you look at. Then, once you've looked at that, if you still have three or four strains that meet your needs, then you look at the THC content if that's important to you. If it isn't important to you, knowing the THC content, the only thing that that plays is dosing. If it's low THC, you're likely to have to dose a little bit more often. If it's high THC, you're likely to dose a little less. And that becomes a very personal thing. That becomes something between you and the plant as to how your body is reacting to it, and over time, how it develops uh, um, 
Yeah, for lack of a word, you, you develop some some. You don't get as high from it anymore, and you need more. I I lose words sometimes. That's okay. It's minus thirty outside. I'm lucky. I'm not losing more than words. So, keep in mind, people. THC content. If you're truly a medical person, should not be your first and foremost desire and high THC all that does is get you high and anybody who's medical knows they're really not in the game to get high getting high once in a while isn't a bad thing we all need to escape from this weird reality we call reality but most of us who are medical are doing it to get rid of pain. And even when my tolerance, that's the word I was looking for, even when my tolerance is really high for a certain strain, or I just have very high tolerance, I've been smoking for 45 years, even with really high tolerance, I still get the pain relief. I just don't get the high. When I smoke my Canagar tomorrow, now maybe I'll get high from that. That's okay. It's New Year's Eve. We're going to have a little bit of enjoyment and we're going to do it together. I will be sharing that Canagar with all of you. I just don't know how. And will I get published on New Year's Eve? I don't know. My friends, I'm far enough into this that I'm going to shut her down and share it with you. But happy Saturday. Happy near the end of this year. I hope it was a good year. I hope next year is as good as it can be for you and make it that much better. Peace and cheers, friends. Love and harmony.